we've just booked our Flix bus passes. Okay, for those of you who aren't aware, Flixbus is a low-cost bus service that operates its huge network across Europe. And they offer something called the Interflix Pass. And that's five direct journeys for 99 euros, which is amazingly good value considering some of the journeys can be quite long and quite expensive. Now we're currently in Bucharest, the capital of Romania, and we had, you know, we had a discussion about how best to get back to London, because we want to head back to London next week. And we thought about flying, which, hey, you can get a cheap flight for like 20 pounds, really good value. Or we had a look at the Flixbus network, and we could get a bus direct from Bucharest to London, and it only takes 40 hours. <laughs> 40 hours, like brilliant. That seems like such a, a good thing to try. So we thought about it and we thought, why don't we do the Flix Bus Challenge? Let's see how much value we can get out of our 99 euro Flix Bus passes, into Flix passes each. This first journey, it costs in theory 79 euros from Bucharest to London. We're going to get to London and then next year or when we start travelling again in a few months, we're looking at going London to potentially Budapest. But we'll, we'll let you know more about that with the next video. Now something to be aware of is, it's a Thursday evening. We've just gone and booked our passes and we've received notification it's gonna take 48 hours to activate, which we sort of knew anyway, but we didn't realize that that was excluding weekends. So it's Thursday evening, the passes may not be activated, or the codes, because we've got the passes, may not be activated until Monday night. And we're planning to get a bus on Wednesday night, so like, fingers crossed, it all goes well. And yeah, and we can be on that bus and there are still seats available. For the first leg of our Interflix challenge, Flix Bus challenge, 40 hours, Bucharest to London. Oh my word, Lee's just told me it's actually 46 hours, Bucharest to London. So yeah, we're like at one end of the line to the other end. And what are the departure and arrival times, Mandy? Oh yes, of course. Departure time from Bucharest, 3.45 a.m. Arrival time in London, midnight, uh, a day and a half, two, two days, days later, almost, 40, yeah. 46 hours later. Yeah, yeah. midnight <laughs> on a Friday night in Victoria. That'll be fun, won't it? <laughs> I'm on the booking page, so I've gone through. Uh, two names, myself first, my details, and then the second passenger, so Lee's name and surname, and gone through to pay with PayPal, that's the only option. But they do allow you to either check into PayPal or pay as a guest, which is pretty cool. So I've used my Australian cards and I've gone in, and it says currency for this purchase. Remember, it's two Flixbus passes, which is 99 euros per pass, 198 euros. It said it was in Australian dollars, it would be $336.70, according to XE.com, it should actually have been $322.64. So PayPal's adding $14 Australian, or, let's just put that into euros, on top of the purchase. So just, just be careful with that. Always choose the actual currency that the ticket or whatever it is in, and that way your bank will give you a better rate later. 24 hours later, you may have noticed I've changed my hair colour and um, I got a bit carried away with the scissors as well and I've given myself a bit of a haircut. Okay, that's that. The good news is our Flix bus passes, the Interflix codes, they're valid. Well, at least the first two are anyway. I woke up this morning and like, I had to try them just to see and it was like, no, nah, sorry, codes are not valid. I tried it by going onto the website and trying to book our ticket from Bucharest to London no joy. But then this afternoon I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. And yes, great success. But I'd read on one of the Facebook groups or TripAdvisor or somewhere that you can't make a booking with two vouchers. So I went and booked myself first and I'm on 20D, 20A. And then I booked for Lee and he's on 14D. And so apparently looking at the, the map of the bus, the layout, I think Lee's going to be like upstairs 
at the back and I'm like downstairs at the back so oh gosh but here's a tip for you um, you can pay extra if you want you can pay two euros to have a, a allocated seating but um, I contacted Flixbus and they said you can either pay or you can sit in the green seat the, the, the seats that are marked green apparently you can swap and sit in them whenever you want and the best way that I've discovered to contact Flixbus from reading forums and blogs and you know what I mean Facebook comments etc is always contact them via Flixbus messenger Facebook messenger they've been really good at responding to me um, it says it'll take two days but no they were fast um, my latest query that I'm asking them is if we're going to be going on the ferry from France to the UK or if it's going to be under the Channel Tunnel. Just, just out of interest. Even though it'll be night, it'll be 7 o'clock at night, but it'll still be cool. Yes, so that's it. There's our first seats booked for our mammoth journey next week, Thursday morning, 3.45am from Bucharest Autogara Militar to London Victoria normally costing 79 euros but as it's one trip of five it's less than 20 euros it's technically it's 20 euros yeah, yeah. it's yeah. brilliant it's so cool and we're going to take five trips with this we've got 90 days to take these five trips haven't we yes and uh, we'll see what value those five trips add up to hopefully um, I think we'll get our money's worth definitely one thing I've been googling, researching to find what what people take for long distance bus journeys, and there have been a few videos and like a couple of blogs, but um, nothing quite what I wanted. So something I've been doing ever since booking our ticket is compiling a list. So I'm going to let you know more about how that goes and exactly what we buy, what we take, what worked, what didn't work. Because you know, being frugal travellers, we're not going to get off at like a a roadside place and spend, you know, 20 euros on a sandwich. <laughs> exactly. That's not happening. <laughs> having said that, because Lee once, years ago when we were in Europe, we stopped at a roadside place and he paid seven euros for a one litre bottle of water. Yeah, I was a bit hungover, wasn't I? It was <laughs> quite necessary, that one. That was a lifesaver. <laughs> it was good from Amsterdam to Berlin. Yeah, feeling a bit rough. But seriously, seven dollars for water? Seven euros for water. So we're going to, we'll see what happens there. I don't know what we do with the water situation. But yeah, that's going to be part of either this video, another video, a blog, who knows, but we'll let you know.